Do you know what? I'm not wearing any heels. So uh, I'm gonna put on some heels for the sake of this video so I feel in the mood. Some of my favorites, by the way. You'd think these would be like one of those shoes you couldn't wear very often when actually, anytime I can throw these on, I'll throw them on. Wait a sec, they're in the way. Do I care? No, I'll leave them there. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, to a new video. Hi, if you're brand new, I'm Victoria. Now at Victoria McGrath on Instagram. Feels really weird still, but I kind of love it every time that I look at the top of the screen it says at Victoria McGrath instead of at in the fro. It's Thursday, it's another sit down video all about fashion, my favorite topic likely one of your favorite topics. And I've decided I'm gonna talk about shoes because a question I get asked a lot, and it's a question actually I've been asked by other content creators in the past as well, regarding which shoe brands I feel are actually the best investments or which brands, if I had to choose say five brands, would I recommend? Whether that's for someone's wedding, whether it's for a special event, a prom, an evening occasion, whether it's just a pair of shoes that you can wear comfortably. I genuinely get asked this question a lot and I find myself writing the exact same brands and the same names over and over. So I thought this would be quite a nice way to accumulate all those favourites into one video. So let's just get on with it. Okay, first brand on the list, likely not a surprise to you guys. In fact, I'm literally wearing them right now. You guessed it, Jimmy Choo, right here, actually. Perfect, honestly, accidental placement. I am literally just taking these off from shooting a TikTok in them. They've just launched their new Moogler range, actually, and it's divine, absolutely beautiful. Like, the quality, and the style of these. It's like an update to, I feel like Balenciaga a few years ago really took the world by storm with the sock boot. Louboutin also did a sock boot and it was huge and that was a few years ago. So do you know what? I'm so happy the sock boot is back because it's such a flattering and like sexy shoe. Anyway, this is like Jimmy Choo's newest offering and I feel it's gonna be the boot of the season. But yes, Jimmy Choo is always a brand I recommend when it comes to heels. Do you know what I'm gonna do? In this video, I'm gonna give them each a rating when it comes to, I'm gonna write this down too so I don't forget it. Um, and maybe Alex can put up a little thing on the screen that rates everything with some stars. I mean, that'd be nice. So let's do comfort level. Let's do design styles. Let's do wear ability. Comfort, Jimmy Choo on the comfort scale of like one to five. Five being super comfortable, one being extremely uncomfortable. Um, I'd say Jimmy Choo for me is around the four level. Again, it depends which shoe that you go for. However, I don't think you can go wrong with Jimmy Choo if you are looking for a wedding shoe, that's for sure. Let me show you mine. My, my, I've got a lot of Jimmy Choo's. These are the Jimmy Choo shoes that I walked down the aisle in. I wanna say they're called the Kate Pump, but I think I've got that wrong. I'll leave them linked down below, guys. Anyway, they're such a classic, beautiful wedding shoe. Ivory cream, they match perfectly with my dress. I did actually take these in though to uh, when I was getting my dress made to make sure that it all suited and the silks matched. And they did, they were great. I mean, these, these are quite dirty now, as you might be able to see from the sides. They've got mud on them. Anyway, yeah, honestly, I so highly recommend. The team very kindly put this little heart v &A in blue underneath the shoes for me, which I'm sure that you can get done in boutique as well. Can't go wrong with this style, but equally, like I said, I've got, I've got the bright yellow neon, super pointy. I mean, they've just brought out this absolutely beautiful pair which you might have seen if you saw my Jimmy Choo advent calendar videos that were all over the internet. So I mean, in terms of like design styles, which is gonna be my second rating, um, in terms of just how innovative or how out of the box design, the designer likes to go with their styles of shoes, I'd give Jimmy Choo again a four out of five because I feel they're always doing some really incredible colors for a start. Um, they push themselves outside the box with their designs. I mean, I've never seen a brand do anything this over the top and wonderful before. Um, so yeah, four out of five for designs. I mean, just look at these. I think these are coming out really soon and they have this 
incredible mesh ankle diamante crystal section. They are heavenly, absolutely heavenly. But you also can't go wrong with just their simple black heels. And again, these are some that I've worn to death. And in fact, they've just brought out a new style for the season, again with this kind of pointy toe and a mesh section over, and they're amazing. I absolutely need those. I got these actually probably about a year ago now, and I've worn them so much. And I keep seeing them everywhere now, and I'm so glad because I think these are some of the most beautiful heels that I own, and some of the most versatile. So versatility is going to be the third thing on my um, on my rating scale. And I think for Jimmy Shoe again, I would give them, I'd give them a five out of five, mainly because I feel if you're going to any event of any kind, you will find a pair of shoes at Jimmy Shoe that match what you need. Whether that's a pair of sneakers, a pair of mules, sandals, strappies, stilettos, ankle strap, crystal, leather, print, they have a bit of everything. Um, and I mean, these are absolutely stunning. You'll have seen these everywhere. I've seen so many people with this beautiful ankle strap. Um, I wear them constantly. And the way that the crystals got the back of the heel, I mean, how sexy is that? Just to round that section up, I'm a big fan <laughs> of Jimmy Choo's. A really, really big fan. I've got a number of their bags as well. I feel like a few people don't realize that Jimmy Choo do bags. For me, it kind of makes sense. If you are going to an incredible shoe retailer to get a wonderful accessory, it kind of makes sense to also be able to pick up a beautiful bag that might match it or in similar fabric, similar colors. So I really feel that like they've nailed it. And this year with this new Moogler collaboration, honestly, I feel like Jimmy Choo is the shoe brand of the moment. So yeah, big congrats to the team for this incredible collab. So that's my shoe recommendation number one. If you're looking for shoes that are versatile, designed beautifully, uh, wearable, comfortable, comfortable enough to do an event in for sure. Let's move on to designer number dos. For all of you guys who know me well, what's it gonna be? <laughs> you know what it's gonna be. Jean Vito Rossi. This cupboard is filled with maybe 10 Jean Vito Rossi's. I mean, this is the, this is the Calabria Court. I have this in three different colorways, I believe. So these, you'll have, again, such a famous style with the plexi, perspexy, plexi plastic sides, leather pointed toe, and the gorgeous heels. The reason I've got these in three different colors, is that right? Three different colors? I think three different colors. I find these really quite comfortable. Now, I know that a lot of people <laughs> say that when they're wearing them and they're very warm and their feet are hot, this, pl the plasticky bits can almost heat up a bit. Not, almost, almost in a condensation kind of way. Like, <laughs> I've had that before when I've been on a night out in these and my feet are boiling. And obviously you're stood on this tiny ball of your foot, obviously your feet are gonna get very warm. Now and again, you can almost get this little bit of like condensation inside, but you know what, it doesn't put me off. I love these so much. It's never gonna put me off wearing them. So for me, Jean Vito Rossi on the scale of comfort, I'd say, again, I'd give them a four out of five. Quite often as well, I must admit, I would usually size down a half size in Jean Vito Rossi's. I'd bear that in mind as well. Um, definitely don't size up, that's for sure. But I just, they're so classic, they're so beautifully classic. Then they also do this wonderful style. Oh, what is this called? Oh, I can't think what this style is called. But anyway, strappy over, over the toe and then strappy around the ankle with a really gorgeous high heel. Extremely wearable with anything where your leg is on show because as you may know, wearing ankle straps like this can really cut off your legs. If you're wearing something that's midi, you almost need your legs out to be able to make your legs look super elongated to counteract the ankle cut off section. I find these, so wearing them with like mini dresses or shorts is perfection. I love them like that. Equally, I've worn these with trousers where the trousers just cover the ankle strap and they look equally just as gorgeous. Again, I have these in three different colors. <laughs> I've got them in the baby pink. I've got them in this fabulous lime neon, which again, I wasn't sure I'd wear too much, but actually I've worn these a lot. And I've also got them, the first ones I bought over here in the black patent with the nude back and the cream strap. Still one of my favorite, favorite shoes. 
Oh no, four. No, I've got four of the Calabrias, so I just found another pair there in gold. Yeah, but when it does come to Javita Rossi again though, I also own high-heeled boots, flat boots as well. So again, I've, I've bought a whole host of different designs from Javi to Rossi. These are still one of my favourites. I bought these, it must be a good six years ago. No more than that, it'd be more than that, probably seven now. They're still that pair that I'm like, no way am I getting rid of these because the colour is, it's my favourite colour for a start. This is kind of like my favourite colour style. And they're absolutely gorgeous with this cut out. They're stunning. And again, the design is just beautiful. But I feel like Jean Vito Rossi are always kind of ahead of the game when it comes to shoe style. So when the mule last year was having like its big moment with Bottega for example, Jean Vito Rossi were already there with the perfect mule. And when the stiletto was really having its day a few years ago, Jean Vito Rossi were there with like every kind of stiletto that you need. So I feel their designs are always... The designs are always classic and they always have something for everybody. Are they really outside of the box? Maybe not, but this isn't the kind of brand that wants to be outside of the box. Like Jimmy Choo is a bit more adventurous and exciting, a bit more lively with their colour choices and fabrics, whereas Jean Vito quite often, I mean it can have these really wonderful colour pop moments, but I feel they almost stay a bit more Italian, classic, and you kind of know what you're getting, but you might get a little bit extra spice in there. Um, so again, I'd probably give them a four out of five when it comes to design, designs and styles. Um, and then last one is versatility, like how often you can wear them. I'd maybe give them a three out of five. I feel you won't find as many, hard to say. I feel like, like, like with Jimmy Choo, there is a shoe for every occasion. I must admit when it comes to Jean Vito, I didn't even think to look for them for wedding shoes. I might be wrong, they might have a wonderful wedding selection. Yeah, I don't know, just in my mind, they're not quite as versatile as the Jimmy Choo, but equally, they are extremely classic and you will always find something beautiful. Gosh, it's very hard rating things. This is, by the way, this is all my opinion, by the way. You might have your own opinion depending on your experiences, but this is just kind of what I'm thinking. So yes, second shoe brand of choice is Jean Vito Rossi. Next up, if you didn't vote for Jean Vito Rossi is my second choice. By the way, these aren't really in order, I'm just kind of going through each one. You knew it was coming. Aquazura! Aquazura has again in the past few years become one of my most beloved brands to buy from. I've bought a number of Aquazura heels. Heels especially I adore from Aquazura, but equally they have some incredible flat shoes. Um, for example, oh by the way, while, whilst I'm here, a couple more Jean Vito styles, like these wonderful sandals. Got these in two different styles. They are fabulous. Aquazura made these beauties. So all these when we went away to India, I mean how cool with the mirrored sections. Really comfortable. And the pair of Jimmy Choo's there. Mules. But yeah, similar to the Jean Vito Rossi, these guys are also Aquazura. Just a really beautiful high ankle boots with cutouts and an open toe. So flattering. Gosh, I'm doing some moving around in this video. Also, I have this boot, Aquazura boot. And I have it in black twice. I bought it twice. That's how much I adore this boot and style. Again, it's kind of sock boot vibes. It's very sort of flimsy, uh, really flattering on the foot, beautiful black, full jet black. Uh, but I also have these in an animal print and I've worn them a lot more than you probably expect actually, but they're just a really fantastic heel. Not too high, but equally super sexy. But yeah, these guys have been a major favorite for me. I've worn them to the majority of events I've been to. And just two more that you might recognize. These again, were a pair of my wedding heels. Day one, black and white suit night, and I wore these beautiful Aquazuras, again, with an ankle strap, with the stunning crystal toes. And they were perfect. Such an amazing wedding shoe. And you'll find a lot of this kind of crystal style at Aquazura. In terms of comfort, I find them extremely comfortable. I'd almost say my Aquazuras are all, for me, they're probably a five out of five. Generically, I'd probably say more of a four out of five, I suppose. I'm just very used to them. I don't ever think back to wearing my Aquazuras and feeling uncomfortable. So I'd probably say like a five out of five, four out of five. 
styles that they come out with. I love the styles that they create. Again, I'd probably give them a four out of five for innovativeness and having different styles for so many occasions. Perhaps there's no real need for me to even talk about versatility because the fact I'm mentioning all these shoes in my top like favourites is likely because they're so versatile. Um, but yeah, I'd say, again, I'd give them like a four out of five. You'll always find a wedding shoe, an event shoe, prom shoe, holiday shoe, an incredible boot with Aquazura. So again, one of my top shoe brands if you're looking to invest in something beautiful. I wasn't sure whether to put this one in here, but I need to because if someone asked me which brand of shoes do you own the most, it would be Dior. And whilst Dior isn't technically a shoe brand primarily, I mean, Dior is everything. It does, it does a bit of everything, which is why their shoes are so, are so wonderful. When it comes to, of course, jean Vito Rossi, Jimmy Choo and Aquazura are all shoe brands specifically and Dior isn't. However, I can't not include. I have so many pairs of Dior shoes at this point. I've also sold a number of Dior shoes. I've not worn as much. I'd say my biggest collection is with them. This is my newest pair. Alex got these for me for Christmas. Can you see those? They're the beautiful embroidered gold satin and white. They're ex these especially, the slingbacks, are extremely comfortable. I'd give these a 5 out of 5 for comfort because I could walk for days in these bad boys. When it comes to design and styles though, I'd give Dior likely more of a 3 out of 5. Like I said, they're not necessarily a shoe brand, so whereas a Jimmy Choo can just create and create masses, not masses, but can create say a hundred different styles every season, different colourways, different leathers, different patterns, different fabrics, Dior obviously are working on their bag collection, their jewellery, their clothing, their perfumes, etc. And so they can't bring out 100 new shoes per season, but they do bring out a good 25, 30 or so. And for that reason, they don't have a mass of styles. But the styles they do have, they often nail it with, which is why I've bought so many in the past. I mean, if you were here a couple of weeks ago, when I did my video on my best investment pieces ever, you'll have seen these guys. These are one of the first Dior shoes I bought, the Ralph Simmons boots, and they're the most amazing pair of shoes I've ever bought. I, I adore these. Um, and I've been buying Dior shoes ever since then. And in terms of versatility, I mean, it depends which one you buy again, but if you're buying something like these, or my most worn pair, which are these ones, I also have them in the black as well, these ones will go with absolutely everything. I know people that have worn these for weddings, people that just wear them day to day. Yeah, I mean, they've been out for years now. Some people might be like, well, are they not a bit done? But I, f I think they're so classic and they're so beautiful and recognisably Dior that I don't think they're done at all. I adore mine. So yeah, if you're one of the people that's in my DMs asking me what I would recommend when it comes to shoes, definitely have a look at Dior because you might actually find a pair that really works for what you're after. Um, but if you're looking for a load, a load, a load of choice, it probably isn't the brand for you. But if you're looking for something classic and beautiful and recognisably Dior, then look no further. Fifth choice again. This is really hard because after looking through all my shoes, I'm like, oh, that brand and that brand and that brand. But in terms of the ones I always look back at and the ones I'm interested to see what they're doing next, Christian Louboutin has to be up there. Again, I wore Christian Louboutin as my wedding dance shoes. These ones right here, absolutely exquisite. They're amazing. Of course, the red sole is so famous, so recognisable, which makes them wonderful. But again, this is a specific shoe brand, you know, a brand that really knows what they're doing in terms of putting all of their energy into creating wonderful shoes. But I'm going to start off with the elephant in the room, and that is comfort levels, and the Louboutin are infamously some of the most uncomfortable shoes there are. This pair, this pair especially, I think these are the, called the Socates. These are 120 mil heels, so they're my highest heels going. And I remember me and my girl mates in Manchester years ago, must be eight, nine years ago now when I bought these. I was putting them on and at one point my little toe slipped out the side because these are so shallow. It slipped out the side so we were all howling laughing because my little pinky toe was out. And then I was like, I literally said, these are so uncomfortable, I'll take them. Literally said that to the, um, 
the sales assistant and my again my mates were just laughing at me because I was just like that was the most ridiculous ridiculous thing to say but because I had so many other things in my head I didn't mean these are so comfortable I want them I just meant these are so uncomfortable but I love them so much I want them and so I did I got them they look killer they look amazing they make your legs look unbelievable but I can only manage 90 minutes in these before I literally feel like my feet are going to shrivel up and fall off my legs like these are some of the only heels that I will take off if I am on a night out and I'm trying to get home and I need to take off my heels like that that is a dead no to me don't do it you'll get glass in your feet I'm scared of broken glass <laughs> there's no way but if I'm wearing these I have to take them off because they're so they're hideous to wear but they look amazing so comfort level I'd likely give them a two and that's only because these are actually comfortable I danced the whole night in these I didn't take them off once so actually these were fantastic so they can't all be given a bad rep because of these but again I've got a number of Louboutin shoes the first ever, ever the first ever pair of designer shoes I ever bought were Louboutins and they are here again a lot of you OGs will know these these were the first heels I ever bought these are the Pigalle pumps much smaller heel, much more comfortable, much more classic. If anything, they look like a kitten heel now in comparison to that other one, they're not. And I bought these because, sorry, I know I'm repeating this for people that know, but these shoes, I remember I went into Harvey Nichols in Manchester and I picked up these shoes because in my mind, I was aiming for a career where I would want to be the person who wears these kind of shoes every day. And I was like almost manifesting my life by buying these shoes. I was with my best mate Lucy and I was like, these are like these shoes these are the shoes that i want to be wearing in my suits in the office that i might work in i want to be wearing these so it was it was like a manifesting moment and the fact that now they are inside the closet filled god i'm actually getting emotional i need to get to get my life together flipping it <laughs> for a pair of shoes but you get what i mean like they are now one of hundreds of pairs of heels that I have bought due to my career and hard work. So thank you shoes, you massively inspired me. Oh, right, so that's it guys, those are the fifth recommendation. I'm keeping it to five just to keep it a little bit more succinct um, and to not go on too much about so many other brands. Because of course there are others I could mention, let's just do it for my, my sake. I hate the idea that I miss things out. Of course, Bottega shoes I've been in love with. I've got four, five pairs now of Bottegas. Their mules especially I think are amazing and their boots are really, they're so fashionable, they're so trend-led and they're comfortable. So Bottega, I'm loving. My Valentino Rock Studs I still think are like the five out of five on comfort level. Unbelievably comfortable. No, I don't think that they're over at all. I still think they're amazing. Sophia Webster created my, probably my top three shoes of all time, the watermelon shoes. And I love how I wore these recently and so many of you recognize them and were like, the watermelon shoes. I love you guys for that. But again, I wore Sophia Webster shoes for one of my wedding outfits. They make beautiful shoes, flats, and heels. Um, definitely one to look for if you're looking for bridesmaid or wedding shoes, definitely. Of course, I've got my Rene Cavolas, which I adore. The, um, the Mac and Max, beautiful, but they're not, they're not brands that I immediately think of when I think of what are my favorites. So those are the five that I will always tell my friends or anyone that DMs me and says, what are your five favorite brands? Those are my five favorite brands. <laughs> So I hope this has been somewhat helpful and also a bit of a blast from the past with my shoe collection, guys. Um, as you can tell, I've had three coffees today and I'm in a very, very, very good productive mood. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll leave any links down below to some of the shoes if I can find them, but hopefully you might go away and have a little shopping moment of your own. Hopefully I've inspired you. If you need any help finding some new shoes. But yeah, if I'm new to your screens, please do hit the subscribe button. It would be awesome to have you guys back. And I love you and leave you. I'll see you soon. Bye.